Hello and welcome to this Forex preview at XM.com. We'll be discussing the ISM business surveys out of the US and how the data might impact Fed expectations and the dollar. I'm Maria Pachordes and joining me is investment analyst Achilles Gorgonopoulos. So Achilles, over the past few months, the services CPI has been sticky. Now on Friday, we'll get the ISM non-manufacturing survey print for February. What are we expecting to see there and how might those numbers affect Fed rate hike expectations? Yes, hi, Maria. Uh, yes, it's been a week, essentially, in the market focused on the ISM surveys. We usually get the labor market statistics, the famous non-farm payrolls numbers, uh, during the first days of the new month, but this week we didn't. We're going to get that next Friday. So the market is, you know, has been focusing on the ISM. Yesterday, we got the manufacturing part of the ISM, uh, which is essentially what the market tends to follow a bit more, although it's, you know, manufacturing is a smaller part of the, of the economy, but the market likes to follow that as a leading indicator of what the, the entire economy is going to do. And yesterday's number were quite surprising, especially the prices paid component. We're going to talk about that in a moment and connect it to the services, essentially the non-manufacturing ISM we get tomorrow. The market is looking for a small correction. However, you know, if we take account what the sector has been going through the last few months, what the various Fed services have been saying is that this sector, the service sector, is essentially in a very good spot uh, last few quarters. This should be confirmed, so if we, if we get small, as I said, correction, that won't really raise much alarm about the health of the sector, but essentially the market will enjoy a strong number. Again, and matching it to the manufacturing ISM is, the market is going to also focus on the subcomponents. So the prices paid is the key one. As you said, the services CPI, essentially the services inflation has been sticky. And this was evident with the last few prints from the ISM non-manufacturing. And tomorrow we're going to get the subcomponent and another strong print is going to essentially confirm what the market understands and fears the last few months. Now, in terms of the Fed, uh, there has been a very big swap or a change in what the market thinks about the next Fed actions. Uh, in the start of the month, we, on the year and the start of February, we had a situation where the market expected a couple of rate hikes, essentially nothing really groundbreaking, so very close to what the Fed essentially has been telling us. However, the past essentially 20 days, we have seen a major shift in the expectations about the market in terms of the March meeting and in terms of the overall 2023 strategy. And that can be explained on two reasons. One is that the services CPI, which you said is sticky, remains elevated. And second, that we got lots of data from other sectors, like the manufacturing, like the SM numbers we got yesterday, that shows that actually those sectors are essentially inflating, you know, the, the, the price, the inflationary pressures. And that means that the market understands or fears that the, the overall CPI in the US might not have peaked. And this, as a product, is essentially fueling the Fed expectations. Okay, so given all this, what's the short-term outlook for the dollar? Yes, we're obviously predominantly we look at the, the Euro uh, USD pair, which is the, the, the one major uh, instrument in the market. We have not seen major changes over the past week, and we have seen a bit of outperformance from the dollar against the euro over the past month. The reason behind that is obviously the other leg of the pair. So the euro side, if you know, we all remember the turn of 2022, there was a very big talk about Europe essentially going into recession in 2023. We have not seen that and essentially all the data from the euro have been quite positive. That obviously has fueled uh, the enthusiasm or a bit of, uh, let's say, optimism about the 2023 growth in, uh, in the euro area. And obviously it has inflated the expectation about the ECB. A couple of months ago, uh, there were expectations for, let's say, a couple of rate hikes. A month ago, that moved to four rate hikes. And now we're talking about six rate hikes. The year in 2023 and potentially 
low probability of, of rate cut at the, let's say, the later end of 2023. That has counterbalanced the, the rising expectation from the US side, which means at the end product of that is that the Euro USD hasn't really moved significantly. So going forward, and we have essentially about 20 days until the next Fed meeting, if the numbers look, uh, continue to look very, very positive, if we get more CPI, uh, essentially CPI prints or subcomponents of service that are pointing to essentially further inflationary pressures, the dollar could have another strong leg. However, I think that we have reached a situation where the, the, the expectations about the market, about the, the March meeting, look a bit essentially too inflated. So it could be a situation where we get a couple of weeks of the dollar underperforming against the euro as we go into the meeting. After the Fed meeting, it's a completely different animal, of course. Yes. Achilles, thanks so much. And thanks for joining us for this Forex preview at XM.com.